Hi everyone, Anne here. Today I want to talk to you about the new style walking foot and my Bernina 7 and 8 series. This is our new walking foot. I've confirmed with my machine that that's what I want to put on. Let's talk about a few things. When we bring the walking foot on, I bring it in from about a one o'clock position and it's much easier to swing around and have it go up on the pin and lock down. So, got that all locked on there. I've confirmed with my machine I want to use it. Now, our, often our next step is to thread our machine because we get excited, we put the foot on first. So I'm going to attempt to thread my machine like I always do. When I push this button, which is the button that lets our machine know we want to thread it, we can see that that machine did not thread the needle. So in this instance, a lot of people panic and think that the needle threader is not working. In fact, it is working um, because you did the right thing by telling your machine you had a walking foot on there. It didn't thread. The mechanism can get hung up on the body of this foot and to protect itself, it doesn't thread. So your response would be to just pull that thread out now because you followed all of the proper procedures and you would thread manually. So you would bring your needle down, drop the foot out of your way a little bit and thread by hand. Now, if you would rather not thread your needle by hand, because we've got this great needle threader, so we don't have to. What I would suggest is we go back into our machine, oops, tell it that we have number one foot on, make sure your walking foot is not on the machine, Thread your machine before you put the foot on and before you tell the machine that you are using that foot. Now before we forget, let's go back in, tell the machine that we are indeed using the walking foot. That will keep us out of trouble later. And as I said, I like to swing my foot on from about one o'clock angle. I got to use my great walking foot. I got to tell my machine I was using it. And I got to use that amazing needle threader. There are a few other accessories in your machine where the needle threader wouldn't work. If perhaps you were using the needle punch, it's too big. Perhaps you were using the ruffler foot. There's many different feet in the machine that will protect itself. So if you're used to telling the machine what foot you put on, putting the foot on and then threading the needle, you might want to flip your process. Thread the machine first, then put the foot on and tell the machine so that you down the road you don't forget. And just remember, sometimes when the machine doesn't thread the needle, it's protecting itself based on the information that you gave it. So we have our walking foot on the machine just going to slip in here, confirm that is indeed the foot I'm going to use today. And let's talk about the new foot versus the previous foot. Bernina has a great system with the three sole walking foot. Currently I have a standard sole on the foot, which is somewhat equal to the number one foot, number one C. The other two feet, soles open toe, that's akin to the number 20. And then this one, sometimes referred to as stitch in the ditch, edge ditch foot. This has got the guide in the middle, which rides in the ditch. And in the Bernina foot lineup is equal to the number 10 foot. 
Then inside the box we have these lovely guides. We have a left and a right and a screwdriver. We also have this crazy looking attachment here. Is the bit that attaches to the back and what holds our guides in place. So we want to work our guide through those holes in the foot and on the clamp. If it's a little tight or they're not quite lined up, you might have to just widget it a little bit to get it in there. There we go. So the great thing about this and our table, say I want to do uh, two inch quilting, channel quilting. I can put the guide right here on the zero line on my table and I can move the arm out to the two inch mark and then I can tighten that screw down. And this will help hold that guide in place. Let's double check. Yes, I'm still at the two inch mark. So I can put this on my machine. The question that I get asked a lot is, will my old foot work? Well, it depends on how old. If it's Gamma Kappa, meaning red box or previous version, no. There is an in-between version and this little clamp, the screw sits up here. And the problem with that screw sitting up there with these guides is on some of our lovely Bernina 7s and 8s. The dual feed mechanism might hang low and might be crashing into that screw. And the difference between the new, the, there's two versions of a more recent foot. The one with the lower hole is the one that was redesigned to compensate for the Bernina 7 and 8 series and the dual feed mechanism. So when we put this foot on and we have that guide on, what we know now is that's clear of the dual feed mechanism and we don't have to worry about them banging into each other. We don't have to worry about that dual feed mechanism getting caught up in the screw. So when we put our foot down, you can see there's no mark on the table, but I do have a nice clean two inch channel mark. If you need to stitch in the other direction, you switch out to the left. You can do sometimes half a quilt with the right mechanism and half a quilt with the left. So happy quilting. That's the difference between the recent version and the most current version of the three-sole walking foot. Hope that helped!